Hey everyone, welcome back to the Biochemistry SI Program YouTube channel. Today, we will be discussing Chargoff's rules. Here are the two main rules. Rule 1. In any given DNA sample, the amount of adenine is approximately equal to the amount of thymine, and the amount of guanine is approximately equal to the amount of cytosine. This is often represented as A is equal to T and G is equal to C. Rule 2 is that the ratio of purines to pyrimidines is 1 to 1. This is because adenine always pairs with thymine, and guanine always pairs with cytosine, maintaining a consistent structure of the DNA double helix. These rules are crucial because they suggest that the DNA molecule is a double helix with a specific base pairing, which is essential for the accurate replication of DNA during cell division. Chargoff's findings were instrumental in the discovery of the double helix by Watson and Crick. To understand this better, it is best to use a practice problem. Let's take a look at this one. A scientist isolates a sample of DNA and determines the following composition. Does this DNA sample follow Chargoff's rules? To solve this problem, we need to apply Chargoff's first rule, which states that the amount of adenine should be equal to the amount of thymine, and the amount of guanine should be equal to the amount of cytosine. So, in the given DNA sample, you should be able to see that the percentage of adenine and thymine are both 22%. Also, the percentage of guanine and cytosine are both 28%. Since the percentages of A and T are equal, and the percentages of C and G are equal, the sample follows Chargoff's first rule. To check his second rule, we need to ensure that the ratio of purines to pyrimidines is 1 to 1. The total percentage of purines, A plus G, is equal to 50%. Conversely, the total percentage of pyrimidines, T and C, is also 50%, which simplifies to 1 to 1 ratio, confirming that the DNA sample also follows Chargoff's second rule. Therefore, the sample does adhere to both of the rules. And that is how you use Chargoff's rules. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to stay subscribed so you can be notified for the exam 4 content videos. Good luck!